please enjoy this extra footage that somehow didn't make it into the episode. Ooh. Practical armor is for chumps! <laughs> Who needs practical armor when you've got titty 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 bang bangs? Like, look at what what the, what is this? I feel like I'm fighting in you know Crestful what, Glory. His his weapon is clearly a licorice all sort. That's oh, not... you used all your damn armor? I died so many years ago. Oh, great! Now none of us have magic because you didn't use yours. No, I got magic. What? You kept yours? I didn't when I died. Maybe because you're bad at the game and are stupid. And I had three you. spells. Now I'm going to use this fire fireball shooting on the skeletons. This game is, in many ways, very similar to Gauntlet, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's got the same, it's got the same main like uh, uh, RPG archetype and uh, characters. Mm -hmm. It's got like lots and lots of enemies. So you just look, you just missed the greatest and battle in the history of mankind. That was pretty much a, the stupidest battle <laughs> in mankind. Okay, uh, you need the health, so you get the health. I don't know which one's which. Okay, it's that one. So one thing I don't like it about this game... It looks a little bit like a fish, or maybe like a, um... It, that seems like a bad translation, honestly. Like, the fact that it's a turtle. No, it must be a turtle. There's no way that it could accidentally not be a turtle. Because that does not look like, look like a turtle. I think if you get closer, it'll look a bit more like one. It, Oops. Stop using your magic. My button is look, in a good spot. Look, look, at this odd, look at this odd configuration I'm using. See? Yeah, I know. That's, that's what I have to do, too. And it's weird. See, now, is that a turtle, or is that like a, just a, a cut-off? It looks like a carp. It does look like a carp. Okay, don't burn me. I don't care how much you You're like the fat! I don't know how much you dislike the countryside. Don't burn any of me. I, I like the enemies to stand around, like, so, so, so just sort of like... Casually. Just laughing, just like, This is a humorous situation, let us ruminate on strategy. the humor of this particular situation. Hey, look, it's dead. I mean, I honestly feel like there's no hope in surviving. I might as well just give up on the universe. That may be me. What was it the... may not actually be the game's fault that I suffer from So you were saying that there's one thing you just don't like about Golden Axe. I'm curious to know what it is because... It, no, that's what it's... it is. It makes me feel like I'm dying. That seems very nondescript. Is there any way you could come up with something Just the way it feels. It feels weird. like I'm just standing here going this, and then I go over and then I do this. You're, you're saying that it's got zero gameplay. Yeah, the game. I feel like it doesn't have any game feel at all, and what so... game feel it does is unpleasant. See, that, that chunkiness is something that I love in, go in, in Golden Axe. And I love it in, in fighting games. What the hell is that file on the side? And why did the music stop? Uh, they were about to change tracks, but the magic kind of screwed that up. Also, I don't like how I just sort of kneel down for no reason. The chunkiness and the stickiness of the battle is actually one of my favorite things about the battle system in this. I love that. So, But if you don't like that chunkiness, then you're just not going to love Golden Axe all that much. No. Like, it's one of the keys to what makes the game fun. Uh, like, like, cause I find most yeah. brawlers to be, uh, like, compared to Golden Axe, just too loose. See, I, that's what I like. Is I like the loose. I like it feeling like I like it basically when they feel like a street fighter or something like that. And well, I get. I guess that makes that's one of the things that makes Gauntlet and um, and this game to be pretty much like polar opposites. Mm -hmm. In that this game is all about that chunky feel, whereas whereas Gauntlet is like super smooth and fast. Like you're just constantly shooting. I wish this game would stop flickering back and forth like that. So it's really a matter of like. Like, which one you like better, but also this one's better. <laughs> also, this one's superior and you're wrong. I should, I forgot to add that. Because you're fighting, you're riding dragons. Uh, little guys. You stole your potion! <laughs> I like, I, th this is the one of the games that's made me, more than any other game, want to just beat gnomes. Well, actually, this reminds me of more than anything for some reason. It's like you're is, bullying small people. Is Quest for Glory. That's what I'm getting minded of for some reason. Straighten up. Yeah. Oh, Damn, you you being homophobic, Blake? <laughs> Straighten up, young man. Right. Queer, queer frontwards. Yeah, okay, hit the right jump button. Bring it, bring it, Pinky. Also, I think one of the things. Where's your brain now? What am I doing? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> You're throwing me. I don't care. I don't care. I, I do find that the, the, the team uh, fighting mechanic in this is a little bit squidgy and that it's really hard to tell like 
when you're gonna hit the other player and when you're not. I just don't feel like I'm making contact with anyone at any point. Like when I hit, I don't feel like I'm hitting them. There is a bit of a a, a uh, 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 like like while I love the the the, the chunkiness, there's a little bit of a problem with the with the hitbox that I'm looking at. I just like I feel like I'm hitting like I don't feel any difference when I'm doing this and when there's a dude there. What, what if it's a skeleton dude? Yeah, like I don't feel any different. Can I just point out that a skeleton army would be like the worst thing ever? The worst thing ever. Like, like assuming, assuming. I mean, I guess we're already assuming magic is making the move. But how hard could it really be to, to defeat a skeleton? Did you just kill me? Okay. I just made you scream like a man for some reason. Go, go come on, on. Over we up and c c come on, Xena. You get in there and kill those skeletons. Do you mean to use the magic every I, five steps? I meant to jump that time, but sometimes yes. <laughs> sometimes I like to use it every five steps. You know, these skeletons to just keep fighting forever, like nonstop, no matter what you do. It's like that was my favorite zombie thing that I wrote was one where just zombies like would never stop. Like you had to actually like like they're just because they were just eternally animated. So the only way of stopping them was like by destroying their whole bodies altogether. And even then, that's only because Adams can't really hurt you that badly. <laughs> like t like T-shirt boy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, Dark Sable. <clears throat> Just keep hitting the black men until they're dead. That's right. This game is basically like a Ku, Ku Klux Klan game. It but, is. But you know what? It's kind of fun. That's, that, that's your opinion, Blake. You look As a racist. <laughs> well, I, I'm part of the Teutonic races. That's why I'm one of... Uh, there is a certain amount of racism in in the whole concept of, like, dwarves. Can I say that the whole concept of dwarves... Oh, I don't know. I could run. Is, is... That's actually kind of cool. I dig that. Yeah, there's look, a run... There you go. I found my new attack strategy. Look at mine, though. My, 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 mine's mine's pretty horny. Well, I'm going to go in and do my horny room. Oh, I'm just getting... I don't know if I'm actually hurting anyone. Apparently not. Oh. Am I dead? There you go. Uh, oh, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> this is you into... threw me, and, and then, then I... you die. <laughs> this is turned into th this particular. Um... We're not very good at fighting skeletons. I'm finding out. Th this particular quarter has turned into basically just clusterfuck mode. <laughs> I do love how the this skeletons run the main skeletons disaster. attack modes is by lifting their shield and hitting you over the head with it. There's no boss there, just a bunch of skeletons. Yeah. I need the meat. You need I magic. don't. You need to get the magic. I've got the might, you get the magic. Go get the magic. Don't not get the magic, get the magic. Man, I want to see you all the way up to number six, and you've never gotten past there because you use the magic in every room you're, you're in. Oh, hey look, an enemy. Is this the same level again? Oh, it's, oh, an, it's, an, it's an eagle! Or a hawk! This Leo? Can I say that? Oh, whoops! I just walked to my death. And there's Clesio. Ow! <clears throat> I don't know what it is because all my friends would, would always go on about how great <laughs> Golden Axe is and how much fun they have playing it, and then we would play it, and I'd just be like, "Yeah, this game's not as good as you remember it, huh?" They're like, "No, I had fun," and I'm like, "Do you know what fun is? Fun is the antithesis of this." You're, like, you're gonna have to really explain to me why. why um... It feels awful. Like I hate it so much. <laughs> like you know that feeling when like you accidentally chew on something that's not actually food, and then like your whole body kind of goes Wah! like it, like your mouth rejects it, like like a random bit of gristle or something like that. I'm saying Golden Axe is like eating gristle, except you pay money for it. Well, I guess you would pay money for the gristle. I don't know what I'm saying, I just know that I'm not happy. You're basically putting a quarter in and out comes like... Uh, old, Unhappiness. Uh, uh, out, out comes like an old-timey, like, uh, 1930s restaurant. They're like, only thing we've got here is gristle for you. Yeah. Hey, Pinky. Take my f lightning thing. That's... Notice the extra lightning bolt that goes nowhere for no reason. Cause I'm wasteful. Cause this is before the Kyoto Accord. <laughs> this is before the Kyoto Accord. That's right. This is the true American game. There's ladies and there are skivvies. There's skivvies? Is that an American term now? <laughs> There's them ladies and their skivs. There's the, the Swedish dwarves. 
and big butch men mostly naked. There's nothing more American than that. And nothing more American than that. Also, you're fighting knights. And the British had knights. So we're kind of like the Paul Revere of... And then we take the credit for somebody else's actions. Of this. Because our name is Cacio. I like how every time I try to do that attack, I miss all the enemies and just hit you. You know, these knights with their, their pure, like, pinkness do kind of look like sort of armored dildos. They kind of do. Oh, uh, what? No sleepy time, T? I want to get... Oh, there you go. Let me get one... Let me, I only need to get at least one more magic. But come on, it's the only there game... There you go. I got full magic. ...where you spend most of it kicking dwarves. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first enemy. You used all your magic. Hey, guy. Ow. You're a bad person and I don't love you anymore. No, I'm dead. Game over. <laughs> You know what? I'm going straight to the last boss on this. <sighs> I'm What's really he doing. He's clearly clipping. You're not a paper Take clip. Take that off the screen now before I have to add special effects. It's not on the screen. We're talking about his dick, by the way. I know. My dick is just so amazing that people can't look. Whoa! At what it. the heck was that? That was a fire. Oh, okay. Really th I like how when you fall down, everyone just stops. Like, what do we do? What happens? Game over.